this whole series is going to be strictly about how I'm going to take this company to $100 million. Sorry. $100 billion. Oh. Gentlemen, silence. I'm the one who put it on my back, though. I'm the one who's showing off the ankles. Came up with a nada, so I'm thankful. You know I got to get it to the bank. Close facts, bro. Facts, bro. These is all facts. Big tunes, big checks, big racks, bro. Facts, bro. These is all facts. Men lie, women lie. Stats don't. Facts, bro. Really big facts. Yeah. Look, we've all been screwed, man. I've been screwed. Like, ask him how many times people have taken advantage of me. I mean, I've invested in things, but the way I look at it is if I find the right people, which this is a pretty interesting, it's like, a it's, it's like it, it kind of naturally happened, yeah. but usually I have my lawyers involved, get proper contracts made, and I still want to do that. But at the same time, it's a gentleman's agreement. You create like a one small little page agreement. Mm -hmm. We all know what the money we're putting in it. And then we just sit, sit like professional people and go back and say, okay, this is what it costs. This is what it is. This is the labor. This is what it is. And you work out the numbers and do what's best for the company, not for the three of us. And then you got to implement the corporate structure that makes sense for the company, right? And I don't want to be here. It's not my strength. My strength is to grow the company, move boxes. I'll do it. And I told her, I said, if you're not going to do those bands, we can box those because they'll stack better. Yeah, and we're then, not doing that many bands anymore. Then we can just rearrange some of this stuff to yeah. make it. Yeah, we can do that. Until we get the demand crazy, and then we'll sit down and we're going to expand yeah. on that. When are, we don't even know when everybody's going to come back and work, right? But there's, so, there's a lot of companies out there during this time actually become billion-dollar companies because they figure it out. So you have to pivot. You gotta stay on top of the new thing. Or every company has its ups and downs. So perfect example, Uber, Airbnb. I mean, what's their future like now? I mean, they're a billion dollar company. Now nobody's gonna go rent, no one's traveling. Uber, nobody's using Uber. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not as much. So, so there's gonna be a, a huge disruption. Now, yeah, there's still great technologies, but I mean, this obviously, they were not expecting something like this, right? So you have to be prepared for everything. This is what, what I'm thinking of right now. That's what I've been thinking of. You, I'm just gonna tell you, you better hope that your girl's still with you after this shit. <laughs> Cause you're gonna have either. <laughs> I'm gonna now, because this happened, I'm gonna be 10 steps ahead for the next time something even worse happens. So the next business I'm personally gonna be investing in, besides my current core business, is something in water or electricity. Those are basic humanity needs, right? So when something like this happens, at least I know, hey, I still have income coming in because people still need to pay their bills, people still need to pay, drink water, and real estate, people still need to pay their rent. So let that sink in. So we had, we're the last ones to take our money, actually. Yeah. You know, if, if times like this, when stuff like this happens, we have to make sure everybody gets paid. So we're not going to be taking our salaries. Yeah. And it's that simple. Luckily, we're at the point where we we don't have to worry about that right now. Right. But who knows what's going to happen a month from now. Or so we're here at our new facility, one of the three facilities that we opened up for Cut and Sew. Like I said, both facilities, actually, a lot of people lost their jobs. So we've already brought back nine people. We're adding another... 50 to 60 people in this facility. By the end of next week, we should have about, I would say about 30 to 40 people here. We're gonna start filling up the other facilities after that, right after that. So we're just trying to catch up with some orders. Give me 24 hours, let me work out the numbers, okay? And then I'll have a better answer for you because what I'll do is then we'll come up with, a, we'll come up with an agreement basically saying, there's two ways to do this. Either we redo the structure, right? Where you guys take some sort of 10, 12% off the spend, and then we redo the percentages because then we will take on all the expenses and then give you guys some sort of um, net profit sharing on top of that, right? Or we stick with the original agreement that we have and then allocate maybe a certain percentage of the profits every month, let's say 10%, 20%, and we distribute that to the share, to the shareholders. And that way, you got your expenses covered and everybody's getting what they're supposed to get. Bro, <laughs> if I know that you got my back in this, just, I'm done talking. But we're gonna produce it. All right. Well, I mean, we're, we're committed, we got the space. Hey, do y'all need to use this room? Now, I'm going to go super deep in 
in episode two. We're gonna show you how we moved our entire warehouse in one day. We still got a, a mess, but we still got a lot of things to do. I finalized my partnership in one of the facilities, well, two of the facilities. I'm excited about that. I finalized my other partnership with my new business partner, Louis. So I'm really excited about that. We're gonna open up our, uh, our own cut and sew facility here. Uh, manufacturing this um, luckily the guys my other partners over there have already started but we one thing about me I always want to diversify my wrist so I want to always do something in here so we can control some stuff and then the rest we can control there just to make sure that I mean there's enough business for everybody I actually need three four more people who want to take on our volume so you know I like to diversify with different partners just to make sure and you know let them fight for the business, right? Because, um, you know, you gotta depend on people, so you gotta make sure that everything is done, you know, work. Because at the end of the day, it's not about me, it's about my customers, customers. It's about my customers to make sure that they're getting their orders on time. So if I, pr if I promise something, I'm gonna do my best to deliver it. So anyways, we'll show you around. We'll give you a quick breakdown of the entire day, and I hope you enjoy it. Get ready. Yo, get that shit off me. What's wrong? I'm just really tense. It's, my chest is hurting. I feel like numb, like a little numb here. Uh, you should probably call call your doctor, dude. So I'm here at my cardiologist appointment. They're strapping me in. Um, kind of felt some chest pains with all the stress and anxiety of growing the business. So.